Hey guys, so this today, I was just restocking what I'm about to show you and I decided I was going to make a video on it and help other people with them because when I was making mine, I found it a little difficult trying to decide what I should put in there and what I shouldn't. So today we're going to be talking about what I like to call panic boxing boxes, but they're um, coping boxes like if you're having like an anxiety attack or panic attack or really rough day mentally or even physically I guess um these boxes are filled with things that can help you um get through that so when you open mine up I can't tell you where I got this box because it came I think it came like with a Christmas gift and then it just like I just repurposed it but if, when you open mine up, this is the gist of it. And then I also have a list in mine that basically gives you a rundown so if you're not me or if I can't think clearly enough to know what I need, this helps. So I'll, I'll just read off the list. It starts with stuffed animals and with something soft and fuzzy. And I find that sometimes like you need something soft or fuzzy or squishy that you can work with and in mine the only one smaller that I had were actually keychains but there's this little owl and this little dog and they're really soft and like this one's got like those beads in them and then this one's just stuffed so I find like you can just play with them for a little bit and they help. Next is tea or hot cocoa which is something warm to drink which actually helps in a lot of ways because it's warm and like it calms you down and it mimics human connection human touch because it's when when you're holding a mug of hot chocolate or coffee or tea and then not only that but when you're drinking it it mimics the warmth of human touch so i have french vanilla cappuccino hot chocolate um some teas i think these are both green and then a box of peppermint tea. So all of those to drink if I needed to drink something. Next would be a book for reading. And the main book that I go to when I am feeling upset or something is um, The Perks of Being a Wallfla Wallflower. And I don't know why. I, I'm not, I don't like writing or highlighting in books but this one I don't know if you I don't know if you saw that but like I've highlighted things and um written notes down like things that I really liked in this book and when I like I said when I'm feeling overwhelmed or like that kind of mood this book usually helps and it's a short read like I can read it all in one sitting so and next would be notebook at the bottom of the box is the biggest thing in here and notebook and some pencils because um, for me at least writing things down not only it clears things up it gets my mind relaxed because it, it's getting everything out and I'm not good at verbally talking about my problems so being able to write them down really gets things out of my system um, next I have gum and here's a box of candy and some suckers and it's just things to chew on. Okay, um, so I was in the middle of recording and it just kept stop recording and I tried again and again and again and it wouldn't record. So now I'm on my phone. And we left off with candy and gum, which I didn't realize. So I finished the video just without recording it. Because that's what people do, right? Yeah. Okay, so, um, just things to chew on. It's like mint and suckers and little candies and gum. And after that, I have a Rubik's Cube and a... My cat's going crazy. And a fidget spinner. Both of these are something to concentrate on, or something to do with my hand, something to really focus on. 
What? What? You wanna say hi? Say hi. Yeah. Say hi. Okay. Um, so after that I have um I have a bunch of senior pictures that I got my senior year and they just have nice little things written about me on the back of them and it's just nice to read those occasionally to remind myself that even people that I didn't really associate with a lot still think I'm pretty cool because I am I'm pretty cool um next I have a slime goo thing because very self-explanatory, just something to squish and play with. And I think, oh, I have headphones to listen to music with, because sometimes that's all you need. And so that is my panic box, or coping box, or however you'd like to call it. Uh, I wanted to make this video to help anyone else who's maybe struggling on what to put in theirs, or how to even go about it. Um, like I said, I made a list of things to help um, maybe myself if I'm having a really rough time figuring out what I need. Or um, I also have it written on the board just right behind you guys, my calendar and stuff, written that my panic box is by the bedside table. So if I'm having like an episode, someone, at least hopefully, someone would know where to go and then it has a list that could help them figure out what I need. Luckily, I haven't gotten to that point. I have only think I've only had to really, really need this maybe like twice. Um, but most of the time, it's just, just average, just something to do. Um, I will, uh, yeah, so hopefully this video will help you, you know, something to drink, something to play with, something to focus on, something to, um, like write stuff down. Any, any of your coping methods that you use, healthy coping methods that you use, to put in one spot. So before, before I had the box, I would just have it all over the place. And just having it in one spot is really helpful because you know where to go every time. You know it's going to be there. You know, you know what's there. So, yeah. Uh, just having a box, I really recommend it even for people who don't have like anxiety or anything like that that would, you know, would require one. Even just the neurotypical people. Uh, just having one still I think would be helpful because like everyone gets stressed, everyone gets overwhelmed, everyone has a time when they're feeling like their world is crashing around them. I think having something to help zone you in and calm you down is really useful that everyone should have. So I hope you found this video helpful or informational or anything of the sort. Uh, comment below maybe your things that you would put in your coping box and or why. Um, maybe things that yeah you would like to put in yours or any questions or anything like that. I'd be so happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you liked it. Bye. I know all this fit because I just took it out, but now I'm trying to put it back in and it's not, it's not fitting, it's not going back inside the box. It's... Why? <laughs>